What's up everybody, Dr. Houlihan here again with another Barefoot Shoe Review. The shoe that I've got with me today is a shoe made by Wildling Shoes. This one is the Cool. Okay, so first I'd like to talk about the toe box. As you can see from the bottom of the shoe, it's got extra width through the toes, which is where your foot is the widest and where your shoe should be the widest. So the toe box on the Wildling Shoes is definitely big enough to accommodate your foot, and it's definitely big enough to accommodate your toe spacers if you wear those, which you should and I can definitely wear my correct toes, toe spacers inside of them. It's a super flexible shoe. I get a really good ground feel. There is a removable insole in here, um, but I don't even feel the need really to remove the insole when I'm wearing them. I get a pretty good ground feel as it is, so I'll leave the insole inside. Another feature of Wildling shoes that helps with the flexibility is this hole right in the center. It allows a shoe to flex both laterally and vertically, and really probably more like in 360 degrees when you're walking in them. So that's another feature that I like about the Wildling shoes that helps out with the flexibility. As far as the sizing goes, it was a little bit weird on the website. So for me, I'm usually like a size 11, Euro 44, but the way that their sizing goes, you can either order a 10 and a half or you can order an 11 and a half. So I'm not sure which size it was gonna come with when I ordered. I went with the size 10 and a half thinking it would be Euro 44, but when I ordered a 10 and a half, and I don't know if you guys can actually see on the inside of the tongue, but it came with a Euro 45. So it's a little bit more roomy than I would typically expect, but if you are someone like me who wears toe spacers inside your shoes, especially if you do it with socks on, uh, it completely fills up the shoe and it feels normal. So they are a little bit roomier than you might expect. So I would maybe uh, just order like half a size down if you're expecting it to be like a nice snug fit. The price on the Wildling shoes is pretty reasonable compared to some other companies, especially considering what kind of product you're getting. This one I think retails for $100, which is not bad compared to some other ones like Vivo Barefoot or Zero Shoes or even some of the nicer ones that can retail like 130, 140, 150, even up into the 200s. So the pricing on the Wildling shoes is pretty affordable. As far as the style goes, I really like the style of these shoes. Um, this color blue is beautiful. It's kind of uh, the same color as a medical blue, so if you wear scrubs to work, like I do sometimes, and for other people in the medical community who like barefoot shoes, this is a really good one to match with that color blue. Um, again, the outsole is kind of like recycled rubber and cork combined, so it's not gum rubber per se, but it kind of gives you that gum rubber look to it. So the blue and the brown is a color combination that I really like. Uh, some of the more subtle features of the style that I really like is on the back. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's got the little Fox logo for Wildling. And then on the tongue, in script letters, it says Wildling as well. And those are some nice little touches to the shoe that I really appreciate. Um, Style-wise, it's also pretty versatile. You can wear it uh, just by itself with shorts. You could wear it um, more like a casual event with jeans. You could do all sorts of different things with it. It's a pretty versatile shoe. So style-wise, uh, I really like this shoe. It's, it's hard to top this sort of versatility and the variability in the colorways that Wildling offers as well. As far as the durability goes, I haven't really had them for too long, but just the construction of the shoe itself makes me think that it's gonna be pretty durable. It seems very substantial. The canvas itself, I think it's like a canvas linen blend. Uh, it seems seems pretty comfortable and pretty durable. The only thing I've seen uh, on some other YouTube reviews is that the outsole sometimes can become separated. And uh, I'm pretty sure you could probably just glue that back together. Or I bet Wildling will probably send you a new pair if that happened too. It's a pretty, pretty good company. I like dealing with them so far. The only drawbacks I have for this shoe, I would say... Maybe because it's canvas, it might get dirty a little bit easier and be harder to clean. Or if you like snag it on a branch or something, it might rip easier. But aside from that, there's really not a whole lot that I can say bad about the shoe. It's a really good looking shoe. It feels great on your foot and those are probably the main two criteria for me. So overall, all things considered, I really like this shoe by Wildling. Um, I'm gonna rate this one a nine out of 10. Okay guys, that's my review of the Cool by Wildling Shoes. I hope you found this helpful and informative. I really recommend Wildling as a company. You should definitely check them out. I like what they're doing. And as always, be on the lookout for more videos.